Hey everyone and welcome back to VFXY once again. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can render our motion vector pass from Maya and how we can compose it in Nuke. So yes, today's video is going to be a very interesting video. So be with us and let's enjoy it. Okay. So as you can see over here, I have two renders especially. One is without motion blur and as you can see over here, there is no motion blur in our character. But in another footage, you can see I have motion blur enabled. So if you want, you can render with motion blur or without motion blur. But keep it in mind, with motion blur, it will take more time to render and without motion blur, it will take less time to render. Right. So let's jump to Maya and let's see how we can set up our render for motion blur and without motion blur. OK, so here we are inside Maya and as you can see, I have set up my character and it's a very pretty basic setup. One gray background and three lights. That's it. One for key light, one for rim light and one for fill light. So let's jump to camera view and here I have all my settings. So let me open my Arnold render view. And if I'm going to render, it will take some time to render and it will render without my motion blur. OK, so my render has been done. And as you can see, I don't have any kind of motion blur, although I have added my motion vector AOV, but still I'm not getting any kind of motion blur. And if I'm going over here and just let me check, I don't have any kind of motion vector pass. So to render your motion blur, you need to tweak few settings. So let me show how we can do that. So here in my render setting, just go to Arnold renderer and here you will get motion blur tab and in motion blur tab, you need to enable it. So once you are going to enable it, few more options will enable. So if you want to render uh, motion blur with camera as well, suppose that you are having a camera animation and you want to render motion blur with camera, you can uh, use it. If you want your shader to participate in motion blur, also you can switch it on. And key is very important. See, any kind of rotation is there in your animation. Just you need to crank your keys value because it works fine a rotation kind of stuff. So by default, it will be two. You can jump to six, eight, depending upon quality, what kind of quality you want. And in position, basically it will determine how long your motion blur should be, right? So by default, it will be 0.5, but you can crank it up if you want longer motion blur trails, right? So after doing that, let me render one more time and let's see how it's coming. So once I'm done with rendering, you can see I have my motion blur and here I'm having my motion vector pass. But what happened? You don't want to render your motion blur in beauty or other passes, but you want to render your uh, motion vector pass. So we need to tweak one more setting. So just you need to go to your render settings and in diagnostics, just check your uh, ignore motion. So what will happen? Your motion blur or motion vector pass will render, but motion blur won't calculate. So just keep it in mind. So after doing all these settings, let's render it and let's jump to Nuke and let's see how we can comp it. OK, so here in Nuke, uh, we are uh, having both our renders without motion blur and with motion blur, right? So with motion blur, I'm going to keep it aside because we don't want to work on with motion blur. So what I need to do, just take a node called vector blur and let's connect it. We need to tweak few more settings inside vector blur node and let's see what are those. So first thing first, I need to select my UV channel. So I'm going to select motion vector and nothing is happening as you can see, right? So after that, you need to suppose that I'm going to crank my motion blur. So uh, yeah, I'm getting motion blur, but very strange thing is coming. The direction of motion blur is not correct. Can you see that? So in actual motion blur, I am having vertical motion blur, but in motion vector pass blur, I am having some kind of horizontal vector blur. This is because the coordinates are not correct. So we need to fix my coordinates inside Nuke as well. OK, before fixing my coordinates, you need to do one more uh, tweaking. That tweaking is you need to change motion vector preset. By default, it's set to Nuke Scanline Render. 
but we used Arnold renderer in Maya to render my motion vector. So you need to fix it first. So just click over here and just select to Arnold, but still I am not getting my motion blur in a correct direction. So to fix our coordinates, you need to take one shuffle node and connect my shuffle node over here and just select my motion vector. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this channel or copy my motion vector pass in a new layer and automatically it will be fixed. So what I'm going to do, just select motion vector and over here, I'm going to create a new layer and that layer will be like motion and just click over here and automatically your coordinates will be copied into desired one. So I'm going to hit OK and in motion vector, just just uh, keep eye over here and in motion vector, I'm going to select my UV channel to motion and automatically you can see my motion vector path or my motion vector direction is fixed now. So if you want this much a blur, you can use it or probably I'm going to lower it down. And as you can see, if I'm going to compare it, you can easily see my direction of motion blur is fixed now. Although we will face some sort of artifacts because motion vector pass having some sort of uh, limitations, but Overall, you can see how easily we can do it. And as you can see over here, I'm having few artifacts over here, but we can fix it by tweaking all those values. So keep it in mind, if you want to compose or if you want to use motion vector pass, you need to tweak few settings. Like first thing first, you need to select correct motion vector preset then you are going to set select your UV channel and you need to copy UV channel in a new layer. By doing that, you can transfer your UV coordinates in a right layers, right? So these few settings you can do. And by doing this, you can use your motion vector pass in a correct way. So I hope this video will help you to understand the way how we can render our motion vector pass from Maya and how we can correct our UV coordinates so that we will get correct direction of vector blur inside Nuke as well. So I'm hoping that, that this video will help you to understand motion vector concept in a very better way. And if you think that this video is helping you, please don't forget to like this video, share this video. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.